Okay, on my net, I just keep this long plastic handle on it so it doesn't blow out of the boat. And then I can reach out and net fish when I'm trolling or other people are trolling. And then when I catch a fish, I can just set it like that on the side of the boat. And then the fish is in the water. Then I can get a camera ready to take a picture or take the hook out of the fish and it's, it's still sitting in water. And then I use the net to weight down my drift socks that I always leave in my boat right here. I keep them tied up, and then whenever you need to deploy them, you just throw them out. These are my rod holders. They're just normal Scotty rod holders. This is the driver's side rod holder, passenger rod holder. On the back two corners, again, I got Scotty rod holders back here both sides interchangeable with my drink holders all right on the drink holders I got Scotty drink holders so they interchange with my Scotty rod holders this is the high driver position drink holder this is the standard driver position drink holder and then on the passenger side is my wife's drink holder and then both of those will interchange with the back rod holders on cleaning fish, I just keep this board on my boat beside the seat and I flay my fish right on the boat if the local laws will allow. And then I don't use my live well, so I'll immediately put the fillets on ice. On my GoPro camera, I'll keep it in the storage underneath my driver's seat. I have a USB charger that I put in my dash and I have three batteries, so I'll usually charge one as I'm using the GoPro camera, that way I can film all day. And you'll typically get two, two and a half hours uh, per battery. This is this mount I like the best. I'll typically mount it, I'll typically mount it right here for normal fishing. Um, and then sometimes if I, want a sh if I want my fish finders to be in the screen, I'll mount it over here. You know, they'll catch this whole area of the boat. And then I keep a floaty. It's got a waterproof compartment on the GoPro and then also have the floaty deal on there in case it falls off. Okay, on my minnows, I use minnows in the winter primarily for walleye fishing. And I'll get them during the week at Minnesota Bait and Tackle. Then I keep them in a cooler with water in it. I've got an aerator, you know, just a normal fish tank aerator that you get with a stone. I don't filter the water. I, I change it every, probably every two days. And I'm not a bass fisherman, and that's why I can post magnets like this on my refrigerator. And any bass fisherman tried to talk to you, just keep it real basic.